we're talking with, I'll do a bit of an intro, we're talking with Eric Clymore, um, one of my friends from back in Georgia. Um, we met through fly, fly fishing. He ties flies and he's selling them um, through his site. Is it Small Batch Bugs? Is that right? Yeah. The reason I wanted to talk with you, Eric, is um, mainly just to talk about I mean, I'm kind of making these videos mainly about like fly fishing and photography. So, um, one element that you are dealing with all the time is taking pictures of your flies. And I've noticed whenever I, you know, I'm not a big fly tire, but whenever I take a picture and try to send it to somebody or whatever, it's not very good. And so, I was like, what is it that these guys that share, you know, or that tie flies professionally or share their pictures um, are doing, you know, what kind of lenses are they using and are they editing them or zooming in or cropping or what? And so, um, that's what we're going to talk about. So yeah, man. So I think we had said, I had texted you a few ideas and I just want to hear kind of like what your process is and for getting pictures. I think you said it's pretty straightforward or, you know, not oh, really yeah. complicated. Yeah. So, um, do you have like a little, I think you said you have a different lens you use or... Yeah, I don't know how well it's going to show up, but this little, just a oh, little nice. macro lens. Yeah, those things are sweet. I looked into those a few years ago, like getting one of those little clip-on phone lenses. So you just use your iPhone? Yes, I got an iPhone 7. It's, I was thinking, you know, if you scroll back through my Instagram, I guess probably about a year and a half ago when I first started it. I mean, I've been using the iPhone 7 the whole time, but you can tell the difference the macro lens made because, I mean, those first photos were garbage yeah i mean that's funny. rainy bad lighting um shaky hand all that kind of stuff uh-huh well we'll have to scroll back through there then and <laughs> go check that out it's funny to see that change in people's like you know photos and stuff i do that sometimes because again on the photography side i'll find a new account somebody that i really like and i'll be like when did they you know, have they always been good? Or are they showing stuff that always looks good? Or is there somewhere they, where they started taking this really seriously? Okay, so you slap that thing on there, and then um, I think you sent me some before and afters we could maybe, like, include in the video, which would be cool. Like, here's what it looks like without the macro lens. Here's what it looks like with it. And I think that probably makes the biggest difference. I mean, I guess you, you, you tell me. Like, if somebody was like, yeah, I'm messing around with my flies and starting to try to take more pics of them is it the macro lens that is that first thing that like makes the biggest difference well since there's only two other things other than my phone i think they're pretty equally important the good light and the macro lens the slim desk light or something like that's 30 40 bucks something around there mm -hmm. but it's just good white light crisp um, because prior to that like whenever i used light on my photos on the early photos they were all yellow light and, I mean, it, it is tough to get a good picture with that harsh yellow. I know it seems like sometimes you'll put them just kind of like in the fly boxes or in your hand. You know, it doesn't really seem to matter that much, I guess, on like what you're placing it on. No, because prior to my hand, you know, I used to take photos a whole lot more serious than I do now. And maybe it's just I've kind of gotten used to taking a semi-decent photo uh -huh. um prior to, to my hand and, and putting them in the fly boxes i would get it all set up on a nice clean white poster board a makeshift shadow box if you will and that I, it, that's a really nice photo especially when you get that just pure neutral background um just focus solely on the fly but it takes time and yeah. i don't know how many photos i would take and then realize after the fact there's a smudge here or smudge there or a little fleck of dubbing whatever yeah um and so as I got accustomed to it, I just plop it in my hand. Or if I'm doing an assortment or a large quantity, I'll throw it in the box just to change it up because, yeah. I don't know, I get bored really easily. Yeah. Yeah. Sweet. Okay, and then the last thing I think was like the edit. I mean, it seemed like you just kind of, you know, made sure the white balance was right so that your colors are accurate. And then yeah, like so I, contrast so or something. Times, I mean, I'll do as, as little as just touching up the detail. I mean, if I take a really good photo, it also has to do with the flies. Certain flies, just easier to photograph. Like a really shiny fly is a hard one to photograph, and those are the ones I usually have to come back in and tweak, you know, the white level to take some of that reflection off, the highlight, okay. contract, stuff like that. But 
keep it something really simple um, and kind of matte. Mm -hmm. A lot of times I can get away with just tweaking the um, detail. Yeah. For that I use, I think it's the Adobe Lightroom free version. Yeah. Yeah, I have that on my phone too. And I've never seen a need to upgrade, so. Sweet. Sweet. All right, so yeah, um, Eric was just wrapping up telling us about the mobile app he uses, and I'm going to cut it off there. But just to do a quick recap um, of Eric's full photo process we've talked about here today. So he uses his iPhone. Uh, he gets a clip-on macro lens. He's got an OTT light, O-T-T white light, and uh, he just uses the Lightroom mobile app. So I hope that this helps you guys and I hope that the uh, photos you take of your flies going forward are improved by implementing some of these tips and and tricks um, thanks for listening and, and watching and um, we'll get back to the video and yeah yeah thanks for doing it I'm glad we got it got it organized after a couple weeks of, of trying <laughs> thanks for joining and um, I guess do you have any signing off words no, just thanks for putting this together I get, I get people ask me about all this a lot, and I end up having to type a paragraph answer, and I, I, I'm real wordy anyways, but so it'll be nice to, hopefully if you eventually publish this one, um, have a link to just point them directly to. Yeah, yeah, that'll be cool. You can use it then. Um, I'm excited about some of the other videos. One that in particular that I'm excited about, which hopefully will have been published by the time this one comes out, is... Like, all the stuff us as tailwater fishermen on the Chattahoochee deal with in terms of, like, water gauges and releases and turbidity and...